don't know if you guys can see this or not, but they're getting a pretty bad storm down there. See, look, compared to over here, pretty clear skies, but it's down there. I'm glad the storm detoured us. So, in the meantime, I'll give you guys a garden update. So, hold on. All right, let's get started. Today, I just planted our peppers, and they look healthy. I bought these because mine didn't germinate. I think they're old seeds, but typical yellow bell. These are bell peppers, and the very center, there's a little one that's going to be a blossom soon, right there. And the same goes for the other ones. Now, back here, I planted some cucumbers that Frank gave me, as you can see in the other video when we were planting them in pots, there's two extras, I planted them here. The trellis is over there, but they'll still grow up on this railing, just not as good. And my tomatoes are wonderful. It's, it's astonishing how much they've grown, I just can't believe it. I remember when I started them from seed. Right now they're about a foot and a half, two feet tall, and they have the buds on them that I'll open up soon and doing real nice. The other tomato beefsteak is do also doing great. Had a lot of rain this week and now it's a nice sunny day so they're really gonna explode. And my cherry tomato also looks great. I'm just gonna have to tie it up. For some reason it wants to grow out of the cage. So I'll, I'll just tie it up. And my cucumbers are doing good, much better than they were before. Um, I there has been a problem. If you look, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but see that these little bugs? Those are aphids, and they will eat your plants. So I got a special organic spray that will kill them and save for your plants. And what I've just been doing is whenever I see them, this probably doesn't make a difference at all. Whenever I see these guys, you know what I do? It'll help a little bit, a little of them will be gone. I don't know, it probably makes no difference whatsoever, but better than nothing. And all my cucumbers are doing good now. You see this, nice big green leaves, same with this one. It's gotten a lot taller. That one, this one, that one, and over here is a cantaloupe, and another cantaloupe looks dead, the aphids got to it. And this thing was extra watermelon that I left si outside, I was going to plant but didn't get around to, and I think a bunny got to it when it wasn't in the garden. And there, there those are watermelons. Um, I might have to respray them with the aphid stuff. And oh, right there, those are also watermelons that are doing good. So, if you come over to the raised bed, I should give you an update on how everything in there is doing. Now, here's all my lettuce. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to harvest so much tonight. We have too much. That's a good thing. Um, these here, this is actually lettuce. It's a type of arugula but it's gone to seed now and if you want to have a longer crop not as in height but keep the plant growing longer and producing more all you have to do is snip off the top parts and what you'll notice are a lot of little buds like looking like they're going to be in going to be flowers and that's what they are and oh, too early to do this but how you harvest lettuce seeds is you let this go to seed all the way like a dandelion and get the puffy top and right inside there you just these will open up a bit puffy and you just brush that off and get the seeds so lettuce is doing great have a ton as you can see it's, it's awesome I love fresh lettuce the best and let's go just going to seed here and my chives have done good and the oregano, look at this. I mean, a few months ago it was nothing, but now it's crazy. And I've been having trouble with a lot of 
wild tomatoes growing and I don't want them to disrupt anything so I am just periodically whenever I see them ripping up these are this is clover right here taking this out of the garden all right so that's my garden update thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on survival one i almost forgot here's also another quick update of the herb garden the basil has gotten much more leaves than it has before bigger and if you look really close like right there that is germination this is basil that i planted and there's quite a few like as you see next to the plant there um right there it's a little green tip it's coming up right let me see it right there another one so i'm i'm pleased Every, i'm sure all the other ones will be germinating soon but these are doing great uh, there's another one right there so my cilantro has gotten a lot bigger it's doing great we can start harvesting it now been very healthy pleased with it whenever we're in threat of the storms like with heavy winds I just take these down and put them on on the patio and right here I have some dill it's doing good and in this pot right here I have some flowers but I'm also considering we might move this pot out somewhere or keep it here and I'm thinking about planting some hot peppers and that'll look nice it'll add great color to everything but also be functional giving me produce and that's one thing that's good with gardening and container gardening you can make it look good but you also seek the reward from the plants and thanks for watching see you next time Well, ends this episode on Survival 1.